40 stuff, 40 stuff. Is that it? That. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. <laughs> Good thing I'm not. Just a... make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good thing I'm not Good a luck. tacky person. Because then, oh, <laughs> yeah, I look so much like a party guest with my uh, mohawk and beard combo. It's not even funny. Oh god, that looks super base. Of course, you know I say that about a lot of the loading stuff that pops up on the loading screen, a lot of the uh, images and whatnot. But it looks really cool, really cool, really cool. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to get a better mic. <laughs> Welcome to the Tholmore Embassy. Your invitation, please. please. Yep. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Mm-hmm. I will. I will. I will. I will. Let me save it right out here. Because I know I'm going to end up uh, needing to... No. I'm going to end up needing to reload it probably quite a bit of times. I don't know for sure, for sure, for sure. But I don't know for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Welcome. I don't believe we've met. Mm -hmm. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? I'm Bob. My name is Dr. Spoon. What a party, it's my first time, you know, where I can get a drink. Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, Madam, tell me more Madam, about yourself. So what brings you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the... Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. Shall do. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. I'm ready. Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. Right. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. So, let's save it. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do to distract him. I mean, other than doing my shout, I don't really have anything to distract him with. Ellen Wynn always throws quite a party. I never miss one if I can help it. Sweet. Um. None of these people cares a whit about the religious aspects of this world. Another sign of the degeneracy of your empire. It is not eyes that reveal another's true nature. It is the heart. Fair faces and fine food are well and good, but honesty is rarely so pleasing. All right, well. There are words spoken and words unspoken. Beware these, Thalmor, for they are adept in both languages. I believe For it. this reason, I avoid them when I can. You avoid them when you can. May wisdom light your path. But yeah, you're here at one of their parties. I hope you're enjoying yourself, sir. Here you go, sir. Colovian brandy. Can I do anything with yeah. this? The hospitality. I trust that this is just the beginning of a long and mutually beneficial relationship. Of course not. One does not gather the most important men and women of Skyrim. And then serve them cheap ale and stale bread. Hey, some of them. This is only a taste of the benefits that accrue to those that align themselves with Thalmor interests. Why does that not sound so great? One of my main duties is to foster a better understanding between the Aldmeri Dominion and the people of Skyrim. I also oversee the activities of the Thalmor Justicias throughout Skyrim. Although this has been most unfortunately disrupted by the war. I never quite understood what exactly... The Thalmor Justicias are so often misunderstood. Our primary goal 
is to preserve the peace between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. Sounds great. Probably the worship of the false god Talos contributed to the unfortunate friction that led to the Great War. Following the Great War, the White Gold Concordat set out the terms for peaceful coexistence between the two powers. Alright, sounds great. The Empire up, and the Dominion agreed that the worship of Talos was a relic of the past and must be eliminated in the interests of peace. But I'm sure you didn't come here for a lecture on high politics. Not really. Do we? What can I get for you, sir? Of course. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. How am I supposed to distract him? I'm going to give this a shot just to see if it'll work. Probably won't, but um, I'm going to try it. What? I can't even shout? The Great War is long past. It's time the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion put aside their differences. Prosperity is good for everyone. True that. But not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength, and my wealth is my weapon. Sweet. As for honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. You must be new to Skyrim, or you'd already know who I am. I have a stake in most anything of importance in solitude. Alright, don't do I feel that, that it's time to put aside the grievances of the past and let peace and prosperity flourish between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. I try to do my little part. Besides, just between you and me, it's making me pots of money. <laughs> Why did I not see that one coming? Very well then. It's only a matter of time before your whole rotten empire collapses of its own decay. No offense. Uh, alright. Can you truly be at peace with it? There is peace now, and that peace will continue for as long as it suits our needs. But make no mistake, this is not a peace forged out of necessity between rival nations of equal strength. It is more like the calm between storms. And the next storm, I think, will be Thank far you, deadlier than the last. Was there anything else I could do for you? Sweet. We'll bring you to this There are those in the Empire who would wish to evade their obligations to help root out the Talos heresy. Fortunately, those yes. most opposed to the Emperor's wise policy have now branded themselves traitors as well as heretics. I am here to remind the ruling classes of Skyrim that their loyalty to the Emperor requires cooperation with the Thalmor. Alright, well, see you. Alright then. Where's out to those? Can't talk to her. So how in the world am I supposed to make a distraction? What about you? I don't recall seeing you at one of these before. And I know everyone who's anyone in Skyrim. Well, screw you too. We have a relationship of mutual respect. I care little about the politics and rivalries between the Thalmor and the Empire. Sounds great. But I do respect power, and the Thalmor have that. They leave me alone, and I leave them alone. What brings you here, woman? To maintain relationships. Obviously. By the way, I don't know who you are, but unless you want me to blow your cover, I'd advise that you avoid me for the rest of the party. <laughs> okay. Until next time. What about you? What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ask someone. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. Mm -hmm. If there's Don't anything too much credit. I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Actually, there is something. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. Cause a scene, get everyone's attention for a few Is minutes. that all? <laughs> My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Sweet. Stand back 